Oh, that's true. And then completely failed to identify any na any way of returning MPC's soul to her body. And so you continued on with your plan to head off to this nice little town of Kenham, which is known to have lots of temples and helpful religious folk. Helpful you religious folk. Okay. Yeah. And you arrive. And we'll, at, we'll find a solution for sure. You, you arrive at the, uh, the the entrance to the tower, and there's this at the entrance to the town, and there's this big tower. And there's this uh, cheerful looking, um, soldierly looking guy standing outside his tower, smiling at you benignly as you come up the road. And you can see there's quite a few people traveling in and out. It's quite a relaxed atmosphere. Mm. Um, this thing that looks like a weird kind of lamppost is a gibbet. I was about to say, it looks like a mimic. What's a gibbet? Gibbet. It's a gibbet. It's nice a gibbet. You know, where you put executed criminals. And there's there's like a, yeah. a recently executed criminal in the gibbet looking a bit. Nobody we recognize. You know, but people don't seem to be you know paying it any attention. You know, pretty par for the course sort of a thing. Okay. Well, that seems pretty regular. Yeah. Is there someone yeah. in the gibbet right now? Yeah, there is. A, you know, there's a a dead person in the gibbet. Someone who. Okay. Can I approach the guy at the the the, the tower? At the tower? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure. Hey, what's with the gibbet? You it would looks have to a use bit that. like well, it's where you put dead criminals, isn't it? Yeah, I mean that's the definition of a gibbet. I'm not going to argue with that. I'm just asking what what did that guy do? Oh, that guy. What did he do? He. Uh, well, you know, he was a, a, a repeat offender, you know, he kept uh, breaking into people's houses, stealing their stuff, he kept throwing mm. them in the prison, he kept breaking out, you know. Oh, some of them might know. The last thing I will ever do. Oh, some of them <laughs> we might know. What was the gentleman's name? <laughs> oh, him. Um, oh, his name was... Uh, Filcher. name was... Uh, John Gibbet. Well, quite <laughs> a crazy feature. Let me guess, his it's Filcher. Was... No, 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 Filcher, no. His, his, name, his name was actually Filcher, son. Oh. Filcher? Yes, Filcher, son. But... Yeah, Filcher, son. Yeah, Can I take a closer say... look? Yeah, he just looks well. I mean, it's hard to, you know, because he's got his face packed off by crows. So a bit hard. That's nasty. Uh, uh, the, the, the body or something, can I get a sense of recognition? Is it the same filter? No, it's, um, it might have been a re relative of filters. You don't know, it's about the same height, same build, same pigmentation, but kind of pretty messed up. Uh, and, and Captain Fred looks at you and he's like, well, what, what do you want with the body, dude? I mean, we leave it there and you know, oh, no, I'm just a warning. I'm just taking a look. I just wanted to know if it was a, an acquaintance. It was a quiet guy I didn't like, but uh, do you know how recent this is? Yeah, because I, I put him there. He's been up for about a week. About a week, week you say. Uh, uh -huh. Might not be good. By the way, I didn't catch your name. Can I can I ask his name? Captain You White? should be able to see my name. My name's Captain Fred. Fred? Yeah, yeah. I'm the I'm the gatekeeper on this on the on the West Gate. And you do an amazing job, Captain. Of course I'm Fred. doing an amazing job. What's your business in the town? That was my next point of order. Yeah, we're looking for a priest. Yeah, we're looking just to visit the temple of Latander. Uh, Temple of the Thunder, huh? Well, um, we got a kind of temple that's kind of the thunderish. It's not quite the thunder. Uh huh. What temples do you have? Does it smell of lavender? <laughs> well, you know, if you look down the road, and um, yeah, I see one with the skull. The... I like that. Yeah, yeah you can see a few temples, you know, temple looking temples, and there's one that's got a kind of sun. Thing on the top, yeah. There's one with a skull. There's oh, one yeah, with yeah, there's sun on it. That, that looks like the virus. It's like the virus. Yeah, thunder. there's one. Uh, there's mm -hmm. one which has a hand, or maybe it's a bit of a claw on it, and then 
<laughs> the one closest to you has got a bit of a half moon. Yeah. And then uh, this here looks like the, the Vogel Inn Tavern. Oh. And then uh, down the way, you can see down here as you're looking, you can see that this is obviously the, uh, the residential area. Oh. The nice side up on the hill here and then not so nice side down near the river and then you can see the big castle off in the distance up to the north and uh and maybe over here you can see what looks like a, uh, a very robustly built large building mm -hmm. if you got a great of view of the city mr captain can i just ask what's the building next to the Castle. Uh, you mean the, the prison? Lake. Oh, that's a prison. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, the prison. I think it needs to be there. Why not well, under the castle, though? That's so classic. Yeah, well, you know, there's a castle. That's where William lives. And uh, mm -hmm. then we have the prison. That's where all the bad people go. The Prince William, you say? Uh, Duke. Duke Kenneth. Oh, Duke William. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Duke uh, William. Yeah, just a minute. Yes, Duke William of Kenneth. Yes, Duke William. Great to know. Sounds like a plan. So um, we'll be heading off. Anything you would like to warn us, travelers, of? Um, it's a nice town. Be nice. Be nice. Oh, yeah, be, be nice. nice. Or we'll end up on nice the gibbet, huh? Um, I wouldn't say that. I mean, we, we generally give first offenders, you know, a chance. We might just cut off a limb or brand them or something. You know, we don't generally just execute people straight away. Neat. Might just throw them in the prison for a while. Oh. So throw them in the marsh. Yeah. yeah, that's what prisons are for. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, you know. Just but anyway, case. yeah, if you if you if you want to if you want a temple, yeah, we got we got four. Take your pick. Four. Oh, oh, bye. Let's walk into the one that smells that lavender. Yeah. I want to check if Filcher is really dead. I want to cast message at his corpse. Okay. No answer. Well, this guy in the gibbet is dead. I mean, it's not Filcher. It looks like maybe it was Filcher's um, brother, cousin, son. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going just to say a little to give, like, a, to make a small prayer for this person who died. May gotcha. this person revert re 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 <laughs> into someone better. Oh, right. So, yeah. Uh, Captain Fred likes you. He's like, yeah, that's the way, you know. Redemption. That's what we believe in here. Redemption. That's right. All right, Some let's people go. People kind of reach redemption in life, but Lathander can guide them to get that after that. Yeah, and you know, maybe maybe he'll come back and, and lead a better life. Yeah, that, that's, that's the fun of Lathander. Yeah, you should probably cremate the body. It's going to smell. No, that's the point. Oh. A... Wouldn't be much of a gibbet if it didn't smell. That's right. If that helps yeah, that's a nice gibbet. That road, it's okay. Well, yeah, enjoy your town. Enjoy All your time right. in the town. Thank you, Captain. Thank you. Get off. I'll be watching. And we'll be watching you. No, don't sit. <laughs> That's how you make it. Not too much, so he says, because I'm going off. I'm, I'm, I'm off my shift. The soon. camera is off and covered. You can walk by. <laughs> the mic is on, though. Yes, the mic is on. I'm not looking at the video stream anyways. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we're not looking at the video, don't worry. Yeah. Oh, which one of these temples smells more like lavender? Uh, none of them kind of smell like lavender. They oh, the one at the start, that looks like something to do with the moon. Oh. That's the, the reverse one... of lavender. Yeah, that's the opposite of us. Uh... Yeah. I'd say let's check out the sun looking one because that's kind of the closest. Okay. How about it that? Does a, okay. It does have a. Okay. <laughs> it has a nice big uh, thing on it. Okay, a nice big sun on it. Yeah, that's not the sun, is it? 
No. It's the sun, yeah. This this is a very badly drawn rising sun. Oh, is it? Yes. And that's a very badly drawn skull. <laughs> yeah, that's a very badly drawn skull. Oh, really? That's like good to me. One, this one has a very badly drawn hand or maybe a claw. Okay. okay. Well, could I have a religion check or something to try to identify these crazy religions? Yep. How about that? Someone can help that? me who is religious. Uh, I am religious. Well, let's do it together. I am One. religious. So, so I'm, I'm not, I don't have... I have, zero. I have zero religion. How are you a paladin? <laughs> okay. Is that a wise? Okay, so you didn't hit me. You didn't hit me. I mean, your natural 20 probably tells you the name of... Uh, yeah. Oh, Lena. Uh, yeah. Lena was paying attention in her comparative religions. Um, Lessons and th that first one, yes, is a temple to the moon. Um, Stephanie, 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 the moon goddess, the moon weaver. Very popular with elves, apparently. You guys might like that. Very popular with elves. The next one looks a bit, bit on the bad side, a bit on the evil side, a little bit on the might begin with a V, a bit nah. You're like, ooh, oh, that's the hand. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, and the, the one at the end, the skull, you know, you never really come across this one, but it appears like something in your head saying like numb skull, as in like temple of boneheads. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's a temple. And, and this, one, this one in the middle looks like it could be a temple of the panda or something close. You know, it looks pretty solarish. I mean that's no. close enough for our. It doesn't say it. Temple of Lathander on the on the door. Okay. It says kind of it says something about the sun rising and everything's fine and uh -huh. harvest. Is there a what. house number on the building? Is there a what around the building? House number. Are these a house number? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the English numbers where you have the odds on one side and the evens on the other. No, there isn't. Ah. Uh, okay. Don't cleanse, show us away. Yeah, cleanse. Okay. Clean the way. So I knock at the door. I try to open it. Is it closed? Um, it, it opens like. She really need the oil in this city. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Good uh, morning, evening. I don't know what time is it. Good day. Okay. <laughs> Good day. Okay, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move you onto the onto the temple. Oh. Into the temple. Okay. You thought we were going into this temple, huh? Let's go out well, to another temple. You can <laughs> still be outside if you like. <laughs> no. Have you have you got the new map? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got it. Yep. Boop. Okay, so I hide behind Lina. Yeah, well, good luck. Why me? <laughs> you like my ass? <laughs> I mean I I'm not mad, but Okay, so what you do, you see this temple, certainly a, a bit of sun sort of kind of imagery yeah. going on there. It looks good. Yeah, it looks similar to the Latander symbol, but it's not quite the same. So yeah. I, I have kind of maybe, uh -huh. It's a bit like sort of maybe crazy Latander. Yeah, it is okay. similar. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's close, similar enough. <laughs> close enough. Close enough, yeah, close yeah, enough. Yeah, that's the thing with gods. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you okay, get so one, yeah, it's okay. I think that I looks think like Latanda. Hmm. I mean, it's the modern version of Latanda. I mean, it's neo latenderism or something. Yeah. Well, like if Latanda had been, you know, had a few drinks and let her hair down a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so like Latanda, you know. Like yeah. the thunder at eleven o'clock. <laughs> maybe I Saturday. should. Yeah, maybe I should join this Don't church. Let them do. Okay, this so church I enter, and I think there is a person in there. Oh shit! Yeah, there's a guy in there. Yeah, there's a guy. Shit, there's a guy. Hide. I'm hiding behind you. <laughs> I say hello, my brother. He sort of looks at you a bit. Kind. Of, he looks a bit embarrassed, really, when he sees you. Embarrassed. Yeah, like a little bit kind of unsure. He's like, yeah, and he, he's got a broom. He's like kind of brushing the floor a bit, like like pretending he's busy when he's not really that busy. Oh. Well, I continue talking. 
Hello, I come from the a temple of Latander, and we're looking for a priest in here. Uh, right, you want a, a priest? Uh huh. How about a priestess? Oh, of course, it's even better, yes. Yeah, she's uh, she, she, she's not here. Oh, where is he? Uh, and he, 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 um, she's she's away. Is she going to be away for too long? Uh, depends on the trial. This guy is full of shit. Inside. Trial? Inside. <laughs> um, no, he's Hello. kind of... Hello. Oi. Hey, you made it. Hello. Hi. Hello. Sorry about Hello, that. Mate. I just went to a shower. <laughs> You're so oh, sorry. That's a quick shower. Uh, I was like... 20 minutes? It wasn't That's all right. terribly long. Uh, no, no we were expecting it. You can actually, you know, if you like, you can take your phone into the shower and you could play along. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, turn off the camera. Your phone. just laminate your phone. I'm charged by the minute. minute. <laughs> broadcast it on Hangouts. I know that Chris, Chris's wife really wants to see that. Anyway, you're in the temple of Lysander Ish. Lysander Ish. Uh, ish. Ish. And he, he's looking now. I mean, your insight, you don't know, he just seems a bit awkward and embarrassed. Uh, yes. He is. Awkward. Yeah, I mean, no, normally she's away for maybe two or three weeks, a couple oh. of months. Oh. You know, um, is she on a pilgrimage yeah. or something? No, well, you could call it a pilgrimage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm suspicious. Uh, it, this might be a weird question, but this temple is. Following what God? Which God? Huh? Uh, this temple is under which God? Under which God? Well, which God do you want? Oh, no. <laughs> it's one of those. That God. That God. We can, yeah. we can, we can do God, God. sort of sun type gods. Well, well, Meg, anyway, the priestess, she's called Meg. Um, yeah, Meg, yeah. She, she, she does most, most gods, goddesses, as long as they're kind of sun related on a good day. Do you know someone oh. called Gully? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he might be one of Meg's sort of. Uh, yeah, follow like him. <laughs> Makes sense now. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You know, she's. You know, as long as you get it before, like, you know, midday, she's usually pretty good. Uh-huh. What happens that night? Well, she. she you know, she kind of gets on the temple wine. Oh, oh there's and temple you... wine? Wait, yeah, temple wine. <laughs> well, no, no, there isn't because she drank it all and got into a fight, and that's why she's in prison. Oh! oh. No. Ah, penance. Huh? Break out. Okay. Sounds just like me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Uh, new plan, guys. Commit crimes, go to prison. Get no. The no. Get How about a prison break? Yeah, that sounds a little better, but this is still bad. <laughs> okay, well, is there is, is there a base or something around? Something I can break? If no, maybe we probably have to pay a bail or something, or seek audition mm-hmm. with the prisoner. Uh... Okay, so the priest, the priestess, she got drunk and then she got into jail. What did she do? Well, you know, she got into a fight with the, uh, you know, the, tem- the usual thing, Temple of the Moon, Sun, Moon, don't get on. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 she she got into yeah. like an altercation in the street and kind of flattened to the, uh, you know, the uh, the priestess of the Moon Temple, gave her a black eye. Uh, yeah, maybe it was a bad know, idea to put how... all these temples next to each other. Yeah. <laughs> well, but, 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 you know, that was like, William's idea, you know, he thought, you know, diversity, comparative religion, everyone getting along. That guy sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. He said we should have lots of referendums to decide things as well. Mm. Anyway, yeah, uh, how, how, how can we help? Does this happen to have like a library or some place where she has information about how to get souls in bodies? <laughs> souls in bodies. <laughs> I mean, like, or whatever, rather random information. 
like souls in general. It doesn't have to be that specific. Or a thesis, maybe. Yeah, like souls transfer. Soul transfer. Uh, reincarnation. Oh, hey. right. Sexuality. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Meg can do that kind of stuff when she says you happen to have a, a, a songbook I'm, I'm into learning songs. Sorry, I, I Well yeah, yeah, there's the Temple Scrolls, but I mean, you know, she she's the only one that really knows how to do all that kind of stuff, you know, it's kind of complicated. Wow. Can we take a look? I think you can do it if you try. <laughs> <laughs> You can do it. I can't even read the scrolls. That's unfortunate. But yeah, you can see, like you know, around here, which I haven't bothered putting on the uh, on the on the board. Um, there are like you know the usual kind of temple sort of shelves and scrolls and vestments and all that kind of stuff. Kind of, whoa, did you just walk right into the middle of the uh, big circle? Yes, I'm looking at it. Ooh, you feel like, you certainly feel like this is a powerful circle. It just, as you step through, it was like, boom, boom. <laughs> You're like, whoa, like bad powerful, shit. Ain't, powerful, you, you, evil, you can, powerful. Oh, powerful, no. like, kind of restraining, but good, uh -huh. kind of. As you walked in, there was like a little, like, uh, you know, walking through, so walking out, you feel a little, like, kind of, <laughs> like, that's a very powerful. Mm religious circle okay okay how about this guys we go to the prison we find out what it would take to get this priestess out she'll owe us a debt and she'll get the soul back into mpc hmm. what like about this go to the next temple see what's it no but i like this temple and there's wine as well and there isn't any wine she drank at all. Oh, well, then, next temple. Oh, okay, the bye. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we, we'll see what we can do. I told to the guy. Uh, so, what, what do you, where are you going? Yeah. Uh, I just want to ask Bob. him, just one, like, like, how long has she been in prison? Like, when, when did she? Uh, she? She's only been in a couple of days. Like, you know, they said they're going to have the trial and, uh, you know, see how long they're going to. So normally by now she'll just have a hangover and be like really cranky. Uh, well, hope she doesn't end up on the gibbet. Nah, she won't end up on the gibbet. They only put, you know, thieves and murderers and mm -hmm. people without so uh, bad people on the gibbet, you know. All right, keep that in mind. Okay. All right, sir. See you around. Okay. So where are you gonna go? Let's go to the temple of the skull. It seemed like fun. It yeah, was I like smiling. the skull. The num skull. Yeah, the, the, the num before, skull. Before I was just going to do like a very quick prayer to let Thunder in there. Okay. Oh, hello. Like near the circle. Hey, Red, you're awake. Okay, so do you want to put yourselves outside the temple of the sure. skull? The num skulls. The num skulls. Yeah, I don't really want to enter this one, guys. <laughs> All right, I go in. Knock, knock. Who is it? Uh, deliveries. Uh, what have you got to deliver? But why don't you open the door and see? <laughs> you know, I, I need a sign, please. The door just like kind of opens like... Go, <laughs> Lina. Well, you said you have delivery. Yeah, but I was lying. <laughs> that, that's your problem now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you go in. Fine. No, no, a... I'll go in. Okay. Okay, you see, uh, you see this guy, and he's obviously half way through some kind of ritual, and. Uh, these guys are just basically banging their heads on, <laughs> on pillars. Hey guys, I don't think we're going to get anything from these guys. Hello. They're like, come and join us, sister. 
It's deaf. Nah, it's stupid. Oh. <laughs> it sounds like fun. This is so Are you weird. priests? Yeah, we're the numbskulls. The priest of numbskull. Yeah. Where do you oh. get the name from? Because our heads get numb from banging them on the pillars so much. I like them. Why are you doing that? They seem nice. Uh, to make us stupid. Why? Mm. Oh, because ignorance is bliss? Ignorance is bliss! Oh. So that's you might be stupid. stupid. Well, stupid is bliss. You might be stupid, but are you wise? Are you stupid, but are you wise? That's a very good question. They're so, next temple, guys. guys. No, I Can think this you guy's work guy. with souls? Um, what do you want us to do with souls? Can you get them out of a bag? What kind of bag? A soul bag. <laughs> Show him the bag. Not sure. What kind of bag is it, actually? Is this a, soul a bag? red bag of sucking. Red bag, so. It's a mixed a bag. A red bag. Actually, my soul has worn out, too. And I start taking off my shoes. Okay. <laughs> that kind of so late. <laughs> <laughs> Look, can you get a soul from a bag and put it in my friend here? Because she lost her soul. Kinky. Well, I'll, I, can, I can give it a look. Yeah. Show him the you bag. Can I take a look in my bag? Yeah, take no, a look in no. the bag. <laughs> <laughs> show him the bag. Uh, show him my bag. Do I have to roll a saving throw even though I don't have a soul? No, I'm still showing the other guy. He's like, where's his bag and where's the body? This the body is here. The bag. There's nobody. I have it. You, you're, if you'll excuse me, uh, Cleanse, uh, Chris, your character, she's pretty hot, isn't she? Chris made 18. He's like, yeah, does she want to lie down in the circle and I'll see if I can put a soul in her? But first, take a look at this bag. <laughs> Smile so awkwardly. <laughs> Smile so awkwardly, room temperature drops. <laughs> that would it? be a bad idea. These are these guys, you know, these guys here, they're just like mumbling incoherent prayers and banging their heads on the wall. Yeah, this is like life. This is a lesson in life. He's like, okay, well, show, sh show me the bag. <laughs> is this the bag? <laughs> he points at you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> carry your bag? No, she can walk. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Aggressively. I in intimidated him. In face. To do what? Look in the bag. Guys, I think Wait, we should give it a shot. Soul is in the bag. Can you fish it out? He looks at the bag, he's like, Ooh, you know, the only person that I know who can handle this one is uh, Mad Meg. <sighs> Meg, the chart? Yeah, the next door. Who's in jail? Oh, okay. Yeah, have to go but, yeah. bring her out. She drinks, she's crazy, but when it comes to uh, this kind of this kind of thing, yeah, Mad Meg's your girl. Mad Meg's your girl. Mm, so how do we get Mad Meg out of the prison? Yeah, I think we need to get out of the prison. Well, normally she's, you know, it would be a couple of weeks maybe, or, you know, you could, uh, you could try paying a bail. I mean, what, you you're pretty money. smart for a man who's been banging his head on the wall. Maybe you should bank harder. <laughs> He's like, I don't, I don't bang my head on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> think I'm stupid. <laughs> I didn't want to say it out loud. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll have to... Well, first we rob a bank, and then we bail out <laughs> Meg. No, I mean, we can go to the prison and maybe we can, like, make a favor for to them. Like, maybe if we don't have enough money, yeah. we can at least do something. All right. Do you guys want to check out the other temples? Well, Why don't we go see the Duke, William? 
and ask him, he's a duke. He might not be a duke. Oh. Douche. Is this a duck or a duke? <laughs> Alright, well... Or we can ask Fred. Fred? Right, said Fred. Captain Fred. Uh, Brad, yeah. All right, Captain. keep banging, Brad? boy. Okay. So where are you gonna go? You wanna take a look in the back? No, just stop. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> look, I might be stupid, but I'm not dumb. I'm not looking at. <laughs> <laughs> I will go. So the Duke, okay. the prison, Fred, who? I'm done for anything. Like we can ask the Captain first. And maybe yeah. he can tell us how possible it is to get a make out of prison. At the castle. Well, he's probably going to say the same thing, like pay the bail. Yeah. Uh, well, we can go to the prison first. The, uh, the prison? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. let's check out the prison. Maybe she uh, she she has already ex uh, escaped or something. Yeah. Let's check mm -hmm. it out. Maybe she's be she's going to be out in a couple of days. Let's confirm mm -hmm. the situation first. Okay, so we go to the prison. Okay. Maybe it's not even her in the prison. Maybe they caught a uh, doppelganger or something. No. Then what is okay. the real? Okay, so you head oh. your way up to the prison, and uh, you can see it's in the middle of this big marsh, and it's actually quite a trek to get there. So yeah, where you guys are, you you approach it from here, and bang smack in the middle, there's this big marsh. With this kind of marshy, horrible-looking river. Oh, hello, Tin Man. Yeah, that's a big stone construct. Oh and shit! It's no, big... it's definitely a movable character if it's shaped like that. And it's yeah, and it's got its like hand held out. Wow, that's pretty detailed. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, these are all old too. I've been scanning in my office. Well, the last time, <laughs> the last time I walked past the construct, I got bumped in the head. <laughs> uh, he's yeah. got his hand out. Jean. Hello, may we pass? Uh, Are you here to uh, see uh, Mad uh, Mad? Uh, no? Okay. Shakes its head, puts its hand We're out. We're here to deliver a package, but uh, we you need a chip. We need a chip. Fuck, I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> need a chip. We need a chip. In a previous life, you have been to this prison. Yeah, no, I've I've heard stories about a construct only letting you through with a chip. Uh, uh, what kind of chip? What kind of chip? Like a potato chip. I mean, you can try to give him a potato chip. <laughs> uh, I'll bring one with a potato, with a potato like really old and. Uh, While you sort of talk and you see this little old lady like shuffle up and she just drops this little black stone in its hand <gasps> and it waves her through and she wanders off to the prison like looking like. Yay! We're with the lady. We're with the lady. <laughs> now we need chips individually, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> Right, so what, Cyber, what try to distract him. I'll try to. Well, no, wait. Maybe I should distract him, and you try to pickpocket him for chips. Okay. Okay. I'll start shaking my ass. <laughs> <laughs> can somebody put themselves besides Dina so I can hide in your shadow? Okay. Well, I, I don't think I will be... Oh, happy peace. Ceiling, so. Cleanse is there. I move here. Uh -huh. So exactly uh, how are you going to try and steal the chips? Because it just kind of like took the chip off the old lady and this little opening opened in its chest and it just like put it in. Like, oh. Like, ding, 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 That's bad. Oh. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> I'm going to open this <laughs> chest. <laughs> no. Um... So what are and these guys doing here? Opening. They look like garbage. they're also constructs, but oh, not quite as it. tough looking as this one. This one is pretty majorly big and and kind of stone built. Right. Well, I guess we're not getting in there without the chip. Uh, so let's go to as the captain where we can get the chips or how. Hey, lady, how do you get the chip? How do you get the chip? Well, 
you can go and uh, you can go and get a barrister, or you can go and get a uh, or you can go and get one from the castle. What about beans? Can we give him beans? No, they have to be the special ones. You get them from the barrister or you get them from the castle. Okay. Yeah. What's a barrister? The castle. Barrister. Thank you, nice lady. Thank you. Uh, take care. So let's go to the castle. Hey, so you're going to head off to the castle. Okay, so I'll put you back on the... Uh, where are we? Uh, oh, well, we're going to the castle. Maybe we can also discuss, like, talking with the person in charge, how there is a, a guy trying to steal souls and becoming the leech and things like that. Maybe they will be interested in knowing. Yeah. I don't know. Let's head to I the mean, castle then. Because it's very close to here, so. Hey. Okay, so you head up to the castle and you see these two half dragons guarding the gate. Dragons? Half dragons, like humanoid dragons, oh. not dragonborns. Dragonborn? Like, no, not dragonborns. Dragons. They're like half dragons and they're just sort of standing at the gate, guarding the gate. They see you come from the prison and they just kind of. They kind of smile at you, dragon is she. Hi, yeah. package delivery. Yeah. Can we come in? Uh, no. All right, I try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you have a bag of souls to deliver. <laughs> what you is that a yeah. You you got a, 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 a what? A bag a ba of souls. We have a bag of souls, and we have a soulless friend in need. Help me! Look at her. Hey mate, I'm just a soldier, She's... mate. I don't know no, 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 nothing about that soul stuff. But uh, you want yeah. to help me, don't you, baby? <laughs> 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 Sorry, he's very emotional about it. Well, at least a half dragon. So I, I think I, I give you rolling persuasion with advantage there, Chris, because it's kind of weirdly turning them on. Okay. <laughs> All right, then I roll again. We're oh, king good. advantage. So nineteen. No, I both like. Yeah, baby, we want to help you. What can we do? Give me my soul back. I don't think we can help you with that. No, but Let we... Let us talk to someone who can. We need chits. You need chits? What do you need chits for? You don't need chits if you're visiting someone in prison. Yes, we need to visit someone who can help. Baby. Well, I guess you could talk to the... I guess you could talk to the Duke. Imagine how I would be if I were warm-blooded. Kind of like how you are now, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, it's been one of those weeks, hasn't it? Anyway, they, 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 while you're talking, um, it just so happens by remarkable coincidence that... The Duke happens to be setting out on his morning ride and he, he sort of pops out of the gate. Hey, and, he really? looks at, and he looks at you and he's like, Hmm, you look like a, a merry bunch of adventurers, bunch of adventurers, bunch of adventurers. And then he starts talking about how he used to be an adventurer in his youth, blah, 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 blah. But he took blah. an arrow in the knee. Like <laughs> 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 in the butt. Oh, in the butt. Oh. In the butt. Oh. Ouch. Which cheek, the left one or the right one? In the middle. Of them. It's in, our <laughs> okay, in the middle. <laughs> Straight in the middle. <laughs> It's like, yeah, well, what, what brings you to my fair town? So we used to be adventurous and then we took an arrow in the butt. <laughs> no, our, our friend needs help. 
our soul got stolen and for what we hear someone in prison may have the knowledge to help her well you know prisons bad people do is it uh meg the priest priestess oh mad meg eh mad, mad meg. meg don't really know what to do with mad meg we can try to help we can take care of her we can cleanse Ooh. her of her um alcoholism I can try to clean her from the yeah. from her alcohol issues. Yes. Her name is Clance. Yeah, she yeah, can do name. it. Is the thing I do? <laughs> like she was born for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not my real name, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's your real name? I don't remember. Well... Name. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I have another name. <laughs> you know, look. It's not for me to sort of interfere with the judicial process, you know. That's you know, I can't be seen to be uh, to be sort of showing favor or anything, but I, I can give you a chip to go into the prison, but um, negotiating your way up to get Meg out, I'm afraid that's going to be up to you. Yeah, but well, that's what... why they call it chip cut, right? A chit chat, a chit chat, <laughs> <laughs> uh... yeah. I'll give you the chip, you do the chat. Okay. Yeah, but seriously, how about we cure her of her, you know, her addiction? Would that be enough to let her out? I mean, you're the duke. Yeah, but I can't interfere in the judicial process. I think what you have to do is you have to go in and you have to talk to Meg and you have to get her to uh, promise not to uh, keep beating up the Priestess of the Temple of the Moon, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Who do we have to talk to in the prison? Um, uh, well, you'll know her when you meet her. He looks a bit uncomfortable. Okay. Hmm. He sort of smiles at you. It's like, I'm not going there, buddy. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you can give us the, the tip, it's more than enough. We, we can try to figure it something out. Okay, I guess so. And he, he nods at one of the half dragons. Half dragon walks back into the uh, into the castle. Bit comes out, gives you each a black stone. Uh, there's eight of us, actually. There. Thank you. We need a few extras there down the road. Can we get more? Uh, roll me a deception check. Why are you going to be so greedy? <laughs> Next up. Ooh, oh, shit. Well, <laughs> I honestly yeah. like this one. Ooh, the thing damn. about William of Kenneth is he's like one of those upper upper class like people that just believes everyone is basically good. He's like, yeah, okay, you need some more, yeah, and he just gives you four more. <laughs> Green is good. I, I, I feel bad for that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure you, you. Can I call yeah. you Willie? <laughs> Can I call? Um, only my, uh, my enemies call me Willie. What do your friends call you? I don't have any friends. <laughs> do you want to be my friend? Okay. It's lonely at the top. I know, buddy. Can I give him a hug? Do you want a hug? <laughs> no, you've got a social distance, buddy. We've got a social distance. No one's allowed a hug. <laughs> Come on, I want to steal something. <laughs> That's what I thought. Of. That's exactly what I thought. Of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you go up to give him a hug. Uh, okay. I'm gonna try to move through his pockets and grab something. Yeah, you Slow get more chips. <laughs> okay. Well, then you're gonna have to do a a stealth check, I guess. Or well, isn't that a sleight of hand? Sleight of hand. Yeah, that's the one. Sleight of hand. Sorry. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay, well, you just sort of relieve him of his purse, which happens to have quite a lot of money in it. Oh, jackpot. They might be able to bail out Meg with this money. I, I might go to the positives in money now. <laughs> yeah, you, you find that there's 160 gold pieces. Oh. We're set for life. <laughs> and not just that, there's a nice big shiny diamond that looks like ah. it's worth about 70 gold pieces. We have the diamond. Sweet. And I, with almost tears in my eyes, I said, you know, William, 
We're friends now, and that's for him. <laughs> Just like this he diamond. Almost, and he almost has a tear in his eye. He's like, we're such nice, honest people. It's so rare we meet them these days. Fever, are you feeling guilty? <laughs> you need I, blush. I, possibly I, I couldn't see when he was stealing, because if not, I will stop him. But I mean, if like anyone has a passive perception of over 28, they're welcome. Nope. <laughs> 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 Thank you. You're a terrible person. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> what you know is that, that I'm an amazing person and I'm friends with William now. So that, that quick, 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 quick. Let's go. Prison, no, no, no. Before we go, Tyver, I need to tell you that was something very nice you did for Yeah, you. yeah, yeah. It was it was a nice walking away. <laughs> Bye William. I'm back with goodbyes. I'll always remember you. <laughs> Okay, so actually, you you get to the uh, you get to the the prison, and uh, yeah, sure, there's that big uh, stone golem standing there, and out. Here's mm. your chair. It's kind of kind of likes you. <laughs> you might even that stone might even blush a little bit. <laughs> You kind of turn me on, go. The rest of you go through? Yep. Sure. I'll give him oh, yeah. one of my many chips. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, so you get up to the prison door and the and the uh these uh constructs on the door mm. kind of open the door for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, are you on the new map? Mm -hmm. So. I don't know where it's entering. Here? No, you want to be here. Here. You want to be here. Okay. Okay. Eh? Eh? What? What? Here. Yeah, here, here, here down here. here. Open, and you see, you kind of open, and, and there's this room, and this obviously barred door, and this very very butch looking mean looking woman sitting behind the desk is she a troll this... no she's <laughs> not she's uh she's basically humanoid you're not quite sure what kind of humanoid she might be an extremely ugly orc an extremely extremely ugly human you're not quite sure but either way she's just like ouch she's she and and she just radiates i don't like anybody and more to the point there's also this uh vicious looking dog just kind of prowling around in the room like <laughs> it's, it's basically a wolf oh i thought it had three heads oh my god okay that's better happy don't give me yeah. ideas. Hey, puppy. <laughs> oh, I uh, one. oh no. You have animal handling. You can do puppy stuff. I got a natural one. Okay. What do you try animal handling? Hey, <laughs> okay. puppy. I mean, it's still a fight. It like, just comes barreling up to the uh, the door and it's like. Oops. Yes, That's it doesn't a... like I, me. I, I tried to calm the the dog. I don't know. I don't have. I don't have animal handling. Doesn't oh, yeah. like people without souls. Okay, I got told on animal handling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get the dog away from from NPC. There's a like... door. Warden Wonder is something that it won't work. Flopsy doesn't like. Strangers. I wouldn't like anything either if my name was Dropsy. Dropsy? <laughs> what happened to Red's icon? Red, where's your icon? I never had. I, I don't think I have one. Uh, I think. I don't even have a character sheet, by the way. I, you need to enable that for me. Yeah, you don't oh, have a character sheet. You don't have a character sheet? Hold on a minute. I'll put you uh, an icon on. And uh, sorry, mate. Just, uh, I, uh, what happened there? Yeah, 
Mexico. Red on air. There we go. Got red. And I will put your name on. Red. And uh, you go. Just a minute. Where we at? Red. Control volume red. Yeah, you should be able to work that going. Okay, so. <sighs> Say, what do you want? And you warden Wanda. She says, What do you want? Who are you here to see? Who wants to take the, the main I, I can take the lead. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I go for running. Hi, sorry to bother you. We're here to see Meg. And I wink. Mad Meg? Yep, that's the one. What do you want to see her for? Uh, we have a complicated situation with a soul and it not being where it has to be. So she, the people tell us she might be the one to go to. Her eyes just totally glaze over. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you want to see oh, Meg? I... Yep. What are you going to do for me? What needs to be done? Uh... Check her. Well, I've got this kind of infestation down in the basement. <laughs> yeah, rats. Do you need like uh, you have a gonorrhea or something? You mean like cockroaches, rats, goblins, witches? I'm not quite sure, but uh, prisoners keep dying. When I send them down there to clean the place out, they, they keep dying. Hmm. That sounds, that sounds like a big problem. <laughs> or you could, I mean, use it to execute them if you know that's going to happen. So, you clean out my basement. We can clean out the basement. And I'll let you go up and talk to me. Sounds easy enough, right, guys? Okay. We can clean out the basement, uh -huh. baby. Okay, clean out <laughs> <Right>. this. <laughs> You mean clean out of things or like give it a good clean? I mean, take a mop down there and if you find anything down there, clean it out. Okay. Can, can we borrow a mop? Yeah, ask, um, ask, uh, ask Shield One. He'll give Shield you a mop. One? Shield One? One. He'll oh, give you a mop. Uh -huh. What's your name, by the way? Wanda. And Wanda. this is Floxy. Wanda and Floxy. What a lovely dog. So we agreed you'll fix my basement problem and I'll tell you, let you go up and see Meg. We can promise much, but we can try. Don't worry, we're professionals in cleaning out shit. Yeah. She gets this, this piercing whistle, like, and like Flopsy comes around the side of the desk, sits next to her, and looks obedient. Oh, what a good boy. Very nice dog. She walks over to the gate, gets out a big bunch of keys, opens the gate. In you come. I hide behind Tiber. Stop moving. Popsy's so. just like looking at you with like, you look like lunch in her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm delicious. <laughs> Please don't eat me though. <laughs> Could I cast <laughs> dancing lights and make it like a laser? Maybe F Flopsy <laughs> likes to follow the laser, no? You can try. Yeah, I'll try it. Animal handling? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to play with Flopsy. You're gonna try and play with Flopsy. Yeah, with yeah. uh with some laser, you know. Magical <laughs> laser. It's a magical laser. Well, that's an eleven. Okay. You're doing so well. <laughs> Oh, I 
<laughs> you're still doing well. Surprisingly for you, Flopsy's head just starts going around and around like <laughs> kind of blows out of one side of her mouth. She's like, Ugh. That's all I wanted. Pretty late. Tail might even be something on the ground a little bit. So you going down in the basement then? Yep. Uh, yeah. Yep. We'll, we'll go find shield one. She says, "Well, you need it," and she just sort of. Are you coming in as well? Uh -huh. oh. Is this towards the basement here? Uh, yeah. The basement is. The basement is here. I think so. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's talk to this constructor, I suppose. All right, I'll grab the mop. As she locks this door, and she locks this door behind okay. you, and like Popsy just sort of comes up, and now Popsy really likes it, just like sitting by the door watching. <laughs> just a minute, my food is coming. All right. So let's meta game now. Do we want to try to convince Chill One that Wanda gave us permission to go? Straight, or do we go to the basement? Yes. Sorry, I'm going to start slurping now for my delicious supper has just arrived. Mm, it's all right. No. Sounds great. So the uh, so this uh, shield guardian standing there, miles as shield guardians do. How, how far away is Wanda? Is she within earshot? Um, probably, yeah. I don't know. Um, let's see. I'll play with the dog as a distraction. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna go up to Shield One and say, Ah, good evening. What one they just sent us to see Matt Meg in the second floor? Can we show, can you show us the way? Shakes the chat, points at the trap door. I tried it very well. <laughs> All right, give me a broom. To the basement. Okay. Uh, do you have a flying broom? Gives you a broom. Is it flying? No. Shakes its head. Ah, uh, okay. Meg goes, um, what's her name? Wanda goes, it's for the blood. <laughs> Figured. Why would a broom work with blood? We have a dwarf for the blood. Right, go, 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 now, do the thing. So you, uh... The, what? <laughs> the, thing. <laughs> the thing. The thing with the stuff. The thing that you yeah. did to the hag. Yeah. Oh. The thing with right. the hag. So you find the staircase going down. Whoa, wall disappeared. <laughs> Everything disappeared. You arrive on this board, Red? Uh huh. I'm not on there now. I think I have to be manually transported everywhere. You have to be transported. Sorry, mate. I'm not on top of this very well yet. Um, let's see if I can just get you over. You should come over. Why aren't you coming over? Hold on a minute. Let's see if I can get you. I'm going there. I'll just grab you from here. Mm -hmm. Try that. Put that over here. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you arrived. Hey. Let's see, you're there, and you're there. Okay. Okay, so you find yourself in this large empty room. Um, kind of dark. Um, Which ones of you have there? Uh... I'm a high vision. elf. I believe I have dark vision. I think I me too. Well, I'm a dwarf. I should have something, right? Yeah, yeah okay. Sure. Yeah, we'll have it. I'm explained it's a bad. The whole thing. Okay. I can actually tell. It was a written. Yeah, I have dark vision. Yes. Traits? Yeah, it's in Russian yeah, traits. Features and traits. Racial traits. But you're a, a dwarf, right? Oh, there we go. Yeah, dark yeah, vision. Dark, dark has dark vision. Dark vision. Yeah. Okay. Well, as you look around, 
this uh, rather unpleasant looking woman just starts walking towards you like Brad, do the thing. Hello. Oh, oh, I do. Inspiration. <laughs> Kill him. I'll give you a bardic inspiration. Is, is, is this mad, mad, mad mix? <laughs> mad <laughs> <Yeah>. mix? <laughs> no. Well, maybe she's friendly. Hello, you live in the basement. Who are you? Um, you guys all, um, you're all within 60 feet. You all need to make a wisdom DC 13 saving throw. Uh -oh. oh, you see her horrifying face. Oh, it's another hag. Fuck's sake. If it's fear, I have advantage. Okay. 13. How much was it? It is fear then. How did I do? 14. Ah, shit. Yeah, no. 18. I'm saying no, those you that are afraid that fail. Excuse me. Wait, you said I couldn't be. I fear, said you had an advantage. Oh, you're immune to fear, aren't you? Yeah, because I don't have a soul, a charm, fear, all that stuff. Yeah. So NPC, like your body wants to run, but it's just your your mind won't let it. So it's just a kind of sad puddle under these NPC, but you're not actually scared. Unfortunately, Lena, you are you oh, are yeah. now frightened. Got it. Um, Ken, you just made it. Yay! How about you, Red? Uh, how much was it? 14? 15? 13. 13. 13. 13. Uh, I rolled 14. 14. Well, you're good. You're like, you're not scared. She's ugly. You're not scared. Do you want to run? She's ugly. Have you seen me looking at myself in the <laughs> mirror all the time? <laughs> not run to the corner. <laughs> Can I detect if that uh, entity is like an undead? Does it feel like an undead? Um, that's well, dangerous MP. talk. Hmm? I'm not undead. I'm so. Yeah. But the uh, the creature you're facing is. Oh. Is undead? Yep. That's good. Yeah, that's my specialty. Well, then do your specialty. Let's um, roll initiative. Okay. I rolled a three. <laughs> MPC, it's nine. Okay, that's fine. You have to manually enter red. Yeah, I will. Eh, could be worse. Okay, so everybody up? Mm. We got everybody uh, was cyber. Ah, uh, he's in the bathroom. <laughs> he's at home, so cyber decided to hide from the nasty lady. Sorry, I was taking a piece, but yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. Okay. Oh, wait, here. Hey, bam. I mean, I got eight first and then a 20 because I was not selecting my chip, so I think I got the first one anyway. Okay, I have the first one. There you go. Hold on a minute. Okay. Okay, MPC, you see this horribly ugly wailing woman in front of you. She's looking at she's gonna she's taking a deep breath. Uh oh. Oh my god, one point five minutes. She's gonna I guess I should stop it. Makes me angry. I rage. <laughs> I am very angry. As angry as you can be without a soul. Yeah. All right. Stab, stab. Stab, stab. 20 and a 9. The 20 hits. 
Raging plus two damage, seven in the throat. Seven total. One hit, seven total. Okay. Just a minute, mate. I should just chat. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. What kind of damage? Slashing. You know that it's something about that knife just didn't go quite in as much as you thought it should. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's all disappointing, isn't it? Okay. So next. Lena. Oh, am I next? Okay, and I'm frightened. You're uh, frightened. He came down from here, correct? Mm hmm And what's this? That's another one of those locked doors, or apparently uh, locked doors. Oh, I kind of want to get out of this room, so I'm just going to uh, cast burning hands on the door. Cast burning hands on the door? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get out of here, man. And I'm door not strong up. enough. Door heats up. Yep. <laughs> Doesn't open. Damn it. Just heats up. They just that... have a very hot door. Um, I mean, a roll me a perception check. Okay. That I can do. Oh, I'm an elf. I'm proficient. Wow. Nope. Nine. <laughs> okay. You notice there's a river running through between two, like this kind of, you know, it's in a swamp, and this is obviously a some kind of kind of crude sewage system you see that stuff's like plopping down from the ceiling into the river and washing out oh not green it's kind of smelly down here wait can i actually see through the the, the grill yeah yeah you can see oh i can well then as a bonus action i would like to cast misty step um <clears throat> somewhere over here Bing. Okay, that's that's it. I'm out of the creature's sight. I'm like, oh, okay. That's my turn. Okay. Okay. Um, so next up, Siba. Can I see anything? Because I don't have dark vision. Um. Well, the, the, the trap door is still open, so it's very dimly lit. So this is like low light. So you can hear a lot of stuff going on. I don't think you can really see much. You know, you can see about, what, 10 feet, 15 feet of heading in. Okay, so then I'm going to go down the stairs at around where I am uh, and use my action to hide. That would be... 21 and then as a bonus section i will say cleanse kill this thing i can see anything and you get the bardic inspiration oh what, what does that make you get a d6 that you can add for ability check attack roll or saving throw and you can do it after you do the roll but before you know the outcome you get it only once only one d6 okay thank you and that's my turn. Okay. Well, this ugly, horrible woman is going to jail. Let's out an ugly, horrible whale. Um. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she is. <laughs> da, da, da. Everyone, oh, everyone within. 30 feet, so I think uh, Clans is just safe. You guys need to make a a wisdom saving throw. I'm going to make some wisdom oh, saving throw. Oh, these are 10 feet? Okay, that's different. Okay. Is it damage or is it something I'm immune to because I don't have a soul? Aha! Uh -huh. Let us have a look. Let's see. Hold on a minute, I'm on the wrong one. Uh, 
It doesn't matter. You're probably going to be immune to this one. Yay. A mournful wail. I misunderstood your disappointment. No effects on constructs or undead, and you're practically undead, so, yeah. I'm not undead. <laughs> and she's just dead. Inside. Fair so enough. Red, Red, you need to make a, yep. uh, a saving throw. Yeah, wisdom saving throw. Uh, um, 14 again. Whoa, you just... Oh, sorry, constitution, but uh, yeah. Constitution. Uh, well, the constitution would be a 16. Oh, well, you're fine. Doesn't face you at all. She's like, what? The whale of the banshee. Oh, well done, sh- that man. That's Can I do it worth. back at her? Hmm? Can I do it back at her for as a free action? <laughs> <laughs> there are two banshees. Oh, there's two of them. No. <laughs> Can you feel my pain? <laughs> I want to bother for some reason. Cringe. Okay, so I'm going to move. I'm Please don't move fail. Thirty feet. I can move, like in the same spot than another. No, opponent. but you can move. You can move here. Okay. Move into this one, and you can still attack it. Okay, so I'm going to attack. So the first. You might as well. You, do you want to move over here? I don't want to minute the game, but. <laughs> You get attack no, with, uh, I only advantage, have 30 right? feet. Oh, movement. really? Oh, okay. Yeah, if not, I will move like that to. <laughs> yeah, but I cannot. Right. I Leave cannot. it to me. <laughs> yeah, but when you move in your in your turn. So yep. the first okay. attack is going to be. I'm going to smite. Mm-hmm. So let me just check how, how much can I do for the smite. Because it's 1d12 plus. Uh, smite is 2d8 plus another 1d8 because he's undead, right? Mm-hmm. So 3d8 yeah. plus my attack, so that will be 3. So the damage for the first one will be 17. Mm-hmm. And the second attack... What kind of damage? Is because it's a smite. Mm-hmm. Is radiant, I think. Oh, radiant damage. Radiant, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, radiant damage. Okay. And the minute. second attack is going to be 12 to hit. How much to hit? 12. 12. Oh, 12 is what you need. Two. Okay. So I do. When I do smite, applies for the two attacks in my turn. Mm, hmm? It's just for one. I mean, you can use smites for each of your attacks. Okay. So uh, you can burn a smite for the first one, like a level one slot, and then you know. Yeah, I have, I have a, a, a we, we just rest, so I have a, everything free, so it's okay. Um, three, two, eight, oh, twenty-two. Oh, twenty-two damage. Mm-hmm. So the first one was 17, and the second, 22. Wow. Shit. Fuck her up. She's still uh, there. Wow. Hmm. Not, looking too, not looking great, but she's still there. Okay. And I think it's a bonus section. No, it's okay. <laughs> That's my turn. Okay. Next, red. Yay! Um, okay, so I'll move him to position over here. Mm-hmm. And then... Is she carrying a weapon by any chance? No, she's just got horrible necrotic-looking okay. claws. Sure. Then um, I will... <laughs> disarm her. <laughs> uh, like... Cutting her arm off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, not sure. Nice try, but I'm not sure you can disarm claws. Um, hold on a minute. I'm not sure you're going to be able to disarm her. 
You can try. Okay. Um, you can be like, hey, baby, want to go on a date? You're looking kind of cute. Be, oh, I'm so disarmed. You can be disarmingly charming. Hmm. Okay, so what I'll do is I will just swing at her. Okay. And this would be a D6. <laughs> oh, yep. There we go. It's a 22. Yep. Cool. And this is two handed, so I have to do the other one. Um. That is a seven plus my superiority die. Sorry, mm -hmm. uh, D four. How do I roll the D four? Where are you? You can roll the D four. You pick it up with your hand and drop it on the table. Four plus four, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage. Whoa, she's looking very upset. Um, and then I'll use my second attack again. Okay. That is a 8 plus a 7, 15. That hits. Oh, great. So... Okay, we'll leave Amelia D10 there. We got... And a D4. Uh, 9, 10, 1, 12, 13 damage. Slashing. 13 damage. Is she, she still up? Nope. She is dead. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I did it again. <laughs> I'm yeah. not scared. What a mini quest. Yeah. And then up the summer. <laughs> I'm screaming behind the, the, the stairs. Ah, the hell? Kill that thing. It's already dead. Don't worry. Well, it was yeah, already dead. I know about the dead. Kill them. <laughs> kill them. Yeah, Lena. Lena. Uh huh. Lena. Oh. I'm washing Lina. my face in the river. I really wouldn't be washing your face in the river, Lena. It's a bad that, river. It's a dirty that's river. really not where you want to be washing your face, Lena. Okay, maybe I don't do that. I think that's a sewer, not the river. Yeah. I mean, I'm scared. But not not anymore. If the thing dies, you stop being scared, right? Yeah. Or do you have to know? I mean, I don't know. Because you see this rather horrible creature. What the heck is that? Giant cockroach. Well, kind of. Like a trilobite? It comes out of just crawling out of the river. And uh, how far does it move? I mean, I'm not oh. expecting anything to crawl out of there, so I guess he has me surprised. Yeah, I guess it has surprise as it moves down to here. Oh, yeah, you know what? This friend just came out from here too. Yeah, and I was just about oh, contemplating washing my face. In the yeah, just, you, <laughs> just when you were going to wash your face. And, oh, no, it's coming up on me again. Come on, stop being annoying. Here we go. <laughs> this horrible thing just starts gibbering at you. Uh huh. Gibber, 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 gibber. Okay. Gibber, 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 gibber. <laughs> and, uh, okay. You need to make a wisdom saving throw. Sure. Just one. Yeah, for now. Okay. <laughs> uh, eh, that's it. 13. You're okay. You survive. However, this guy does try to bite you. Uh -huh. Oh, but it misses. I assume it misses. Then I scream. Ah! Fish! And it spits at you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you make a, a dexterity save? Sure. Oh, I'm, I'm rolling good. You're fine, you're fine. It's like it spits at you, and there's this big chemical blob like explodes in a flash of light. 
Uh, but you have managed to avoid it. I found the pests. Okay, top it around. Well. All right. Well, uh, let's see. How can I? Oops. Do we even? We don't know that they're there, do they? You, you might have heard the. I heard an eek. I run here, and then I punch myself in the face. <laughs> <laughs> in order to maintain your rage. Yeah, you find that this sturdy door I is... <laughs> like the numbskulls. Just bang your you head against... You mean with a d4? How do you hit yourself with a d4? Oh, it's a d4, sorry. Let me, and you got let me try it again. Punch myself in the face. I still miss. <laughs> you avoid yourself. You see the sturdy door, which is locked. Huh? And you can see these ugly... Bonus horrible... action, I punched the door. You hurt your hand. Ouch. How much damage? You don't what do any damage. damage. You don't do it. You do stupid damage. You're fine. You don't damage yourself. You just like, ow, that hurt. Fucking door. Punch. There's what I would say if I was angry. I'm raging, but I have no soul. And you rage without a soul. Oh, and uh, okay. very is... ineffectually. Uh, at least your rage is still up. Okay, He's ready, so doesn't have a soul. to the top of the zone. Lena, you need to roll a 20 sided dice. You need to make yes. a. Uh, hold on a minute. Uh, go. A DC strength save. Okay. Well, this is where I'm going to fail. Minus two. Yep. <laughs> yep. Are they grappling me or something? No, it's the ground underneath you. This seems oh. to be getting really wobbly. Oh. oh. Okay. So I failed. Okay, you can't move. Oh, great. Now you need to make a, another wisdom saving throw. <laughs> oh boy. All right, another one. Straight roll. Ah. No, you're fine. It's gibbering at you. But it's not affecting you at the moment. I gibber back. Oh, it thinks you're a friend. And uh, deck save? Uh, no, you're fine. You can make your, you can take your action now. Like, yeah, uh, it's pretty, okay. Yeah, so you can't move, but you can take your action. Ah. Well, if that's the case. <laughs> oh, you know what's coming? Uh, fireball. <laughs> right there. Okay. I'm panicking. Uh, so, Dex. Is that going to get you as well? I spend a sorcery point to, you know, not hurt myself. And uh, 15 Dex saving throws, please, for the crabs. Ooh. For the crab people. They both make their dexterity saving throws. They do. Okay. Yes. That's very lucky for them because. No, I meant. Okay, ignore that. I don't know <laughs> what the heck that was. That's bad. Uh... Oh. Oh. That much, but they take half. Or do I want to reroll this? Uh, no, it's fine. Yeah, because they're in water as well, so it just kind of washes over them. Shang, but what? Foot? Okay, they take half of that. They just duck under the water. Uh... And appear to be singed and just angry. Crap, I'm not angry, it says. I'm disappointed. Oh, <laughs> they're disappointed in you. All right. All right. That's pretty much it. 
Okay, Phoebe, you hear, you see flames are obviously going off in the next room. Mm, I see you flames, I hear it screaming, but I go back to not being able to see. So I just scream, kill everything, kill everything, go red. And I just get a part of the inspiration for a red. And then also continue screaming, NPC, you get them, but you don't actually get the part of the inspiration. Okay. And uh, I'm confused and can't see anything. So that's my turn. Okay. Cleanse. Okay, so I move as close as I can to the first of sound that will be take around here. <laughs> you can double move if you want. Oh yeah. Okay, so would be one, two. You won't be able to take an action at the end of it, but you will be able to get up to right there. Okay, I can get maybe good. Okay, so then I wait. Okay, and red. Yes. You find yourself on the wrong side of the door, on the wrong side of the action. Indeed. And you can hear that kind of cute elf girl screaming and being uh, gibbered at. Why 10, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 30, 35. If I double move, I can only get over there. Ah, I'll double move, why not? Okay, oh, you, can you move that guy? Okay, yeah. So you're all on the wrong side of the fence, as it were. And we get back to, oh, this guy. He's coming up. Oh, I love these slow moving creatures. They're so. Blah, 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 blah. Do we have an idea what these are? Jibber, 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 jibber. Jibbers? Okay. Jibbering mouthers. Yep, jibbering mouthers. Aquatic jibbering mouthers. <laughs> They're like a shogath, but kind of easy to kill. Yeah. Yeah. Easy to kill as long as you're in the room with them and you're not a sorcerer who isn't wearing armor. And this guy is going to take a. Oh, and he misses again. You are so lucky, oh, but yeah. they're both going to spit at you. So can you make me two yeah. PC saving throws? Uh, yeah. Do I have this advantage because I can't move? No, yeah, yeah. I'd say you're fine. This is more because this is a blinding thing. So it's more oh. like, can you shut your eyes in time? All right. I'll roll with advantage. So, yeah, both fail. Uh, 13 is okay, so you're now blinded as well. Great. And till the end of its next turn. I mean, that doesn't stop me from suicide bombing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't use any spells that you need to be able to see for. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. So, this is an interesting situation for you, NPC. You see your best customer standing by the river in the sewers not really doing much hold with the hands over it's going like uh, and you can is hear there this. any way to attack the door well the normal ways of attacking doors strength mm. ways then i, I could uh, open it if i see hey, if i could see um, i rage strength check mm -hmm. uh, the door Where's my character sheet here? All right. Is that two? 18 and 19. 19. Wow. It, you can see that ping, she just rends that door open. Pretty good for a 10 strength. Pretty and good then, for a ten strength is obviously your best customer. Yeah, and I don't, I don't like that, and so I just uh, get in there, but okay. I can't do anything else. Okay. Uh, next up, was I must epic. save my best customer. Okay, so Lena. Yes. You can't see. No. And I can't move. Uh, you can roll and see if you can move this time. You at the oh. beginning of your turn. Strength. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, is, uh, I'm not a diviner, but that's not going to happen. 
Oh, nope. that's just what you need. Really? Yes. All right. I believe. But I can't see. I'll stumble backwards. So this guy probably gets an opportunity attack. He's going to have a... Oh, it's probably going to miss you again. You have a charmed life, I think. Um, da, 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 da. Take some bite at you. I guess a 10 doesn't hit, does it? No. Sorry. I'll just basically on the ground crawl back half my speed. And okay. uh, that's my turn. I just, ah, kill it with fire. That's okay. Saber. Uh, I'm gonna go closer to where I see the. I saw the explosion and take a peek inside. Can I see anything? Uh, well, there's a bit of light coming in through here, so yeah, you can see this horrible gibbering creature, and uh, and you can see some monsters too. You can see this horrible gibbering creature, <laughs> <laughs> and you can see some a uh, couple of monsters that appear to be about to kill NPC. Okay, I'll shoot at the one nearest to NPC. Okay. They're both nearest NPC. <laughs> <laughs> shoot the bottom one. Yeah, shoot, you probably got the best shot at this guy because he's the most in the light. Uh, that's a 24 to hit for that, that one. And that's a sneak attack because they're together. Okay. That's 14 points of damage. Okay, on this guy in the river. Well, yeah. still seven. there. Mm. Mm. Okay. Shoot into, yeah, just move a little bit so I'm hiding wherever I can get opportunities in one section. Yeah, hide the army. <laughs> Yeah, yeah down, down, the, down the floor behind Lena. <laughs> Hiding behind this pathetic yeah. blinded sorceress. Ah, it is okay. pathetic. Okay. That's Cleanse. Okay, so I'm going to move as closer as I can. So it could be one, two, three, here. Okay. And I'm going to use sacred weapon. Okay. So my weapon now emits bright light for 20 feet. Yeah. Okay. And it's a plus three to attack rolls. So. Okay. So then I attack the first attack. It's going to be plus one. 17 to hit. That hits. And the damage would be 11. Okay. And the second attack. 15 to hit. That hits, yeah. And the damage will be 13. Okay, still there. Red. Yes, yes. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Is that okay? Uh, 10, 15. 5, 10, yeah, 15. you can move to, yeah. yeah, yeah. 30. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And I'll just swing at him. Is he where? Is, does he have a weapon? <laughs> no, he doesn't. You're a battle master, or what? <laughs> uh, I, I, I think I am. Uh, okay. okay, so let's have a look here. So I am going to this. <laughs> All right, sorry, just let me find my button. I'm going to try and pull its teeth out or something. Well, disarm him is the correct word. Cut their arms off. Uh, this is with advantage, right? Hmm? This is with advantage because I'm opposing? Um, we, no, we, don't, we don't play that anymore in uh, IV, the whole like, kind of flanking and stuff like that. Oh, no more? Okay. Uh, 11. 11, hold on a minute, that might hit. Hold on a sec. Da, da, da. You got cut yeah, that hits. That hits. <laughs> That's great to hear. So I'll do the damage. Uh, 
Oh, he was about to blow animal six. Um, six damage. Okay. And then I'll go for one more. Okay. And that's a natural one. <laughs> You're disarmed. You're disarmed. <laughs> <laughs> it always rolls on a double digit. Oh, no. <laughs> like, oh, oh. Uh, like, oh, give up. Oh, where's my sword? <laughs> Somehow the beast now has your sword. So now you can disarm him. Now you can disarm him. He's like, <laughs> look at the sword. Kill him. <laughs> Okay, so these. Do I lose my sword or anything by any chance? Hmm? Do I lose anything by any chance? No, yeah, yeah. On a one down in the if... dark, no. Okay, if that's the okay, case, I'm going to action surge and just go for the extra two attacks. Okay. Um, Sorry, give me one moment. If you roll another one, bad things are going to happen. You're gonna fall in the river. If you roll another one, you're going in the river. No, that's a 17. <laughs> that's it. Uh, okay, so slashing damage. Uh, here we go. 11 damage. Okay, still there. And then I'll do my final attack. Wow. Sorry, sorry, what wrong one? That's a that's a 10. Uh, hits. Oh wow, that hits! Yeah, well, these are very slow-moving creatures. Uh, Wait, so that's a uh, eight <laughs> plus. I'm gonna use my superiority die for this one. Uh -huh. Eight plus a d d eight. Uh, five. So thirteen. It's dead. Hey! Nice. And this guy is dead. And this guy is going to take a chomp at NPC. You know, they're actually going to hit the night rolls of one. <laughs> it loses its own teeth. But it's going to spit at you as well, NPC. So make a dexterity save, please. Okay. Oops, sorry. How's that? Yeah, 22. You're fine. Whew. Better try harder. Oh, and uh, Cleanse, you too need to make a dexterity save as this okay. spit flashes off NPC mm. in your possible. Five. <laughs> yeah, you are blinded. Oh, no, I cannot see. You can't see. Oh, no, I can't see. It's your own shiny sword. Okay, so NPC, it is your go. First, you need to roll me a strength saving check. Really? Yeah, if you want to move, just roll a strength saving check just to see. I that. don't want to move, I guess. Well, you're not going to move. Right, next, because it is still gibbering away, you need to roll me that wisdom save. I think it is. Do I? I don't have yeah. a soul. Oh, you don't have a soul. Uh, you're right. Do we really you're need right. to get your soul it, back? I think your soul it washes. <laughs> it washes over you. It's gibbering away at you. But it washes over you. All right. Okay. And I make sushi. <laughs> okay. Uh, that is uh, 24 and a 22. Mm. They both hit. All right, and then because I'm still raging, that is a six and a seven. Thirteen total slashing damage on the squid. It's still there. It's still there. It's not dead yet. Okay, next up, Lena. Still blind, huh? Yeah, and within 20 feet of it, so sorry, I've been forgetting this, you also need to make this wisdom saving throw. Oh, goody. All right. That's a nope. <laughs> One. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, could you roll a d8, please? Oh, I can. Let's see. It's a seven. Higher is better, right? 
Seven and eight. The creature makes a run, um, uh, makes a melee attack against a randomly determined creature within its reach. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, <Steve. laughs> yeah, but I'm blind. <laughs> So you're just gonna make some kind of random melee attack. Well, melee I can weapon. slap someone. Yeah, I slap Fever. You slap Fever, okay? Yeah. Make a with disadvantage because you're blind. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Am I proficient with my? I probably not. I'm a sorcerer. With a slap. Are you proficient with your hands? Are you, are no, you I don't think I am. Woman, yes, you think you're proficient with slapping men. Well, maybe I am. Okay. So disadvantage, huh? That's yeah, probably not gonna hit. No. Nope. No. Well, Faber just crawls blindly towards. I mean, sorry, Elena uh, crawls. Blindly towards you, Fever, and sort of starts flailing at you. <laughs> and it's your turn, and you are also within 20 feet of this creature, I believe. So you also need to make that wisdom saving throw. Right. And super wise. I think we're going to slap each other. 13. <laughs> uh, you're fine, I uh... think. Just a minute. Let me check. Go on, don't be fine. Don't be fine. I want to. I want to. <laughs> Let's have a slap it on. Uh, yeah, you're fine. Unfortunately. Okay, so you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah, I'm gonna go closer to Lena and hug her, like, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fine, I know, I know. And from behind her, shoot at the thing again. Oh, my that's boots. Cool. Yeah, I know, inspiration. A twenty two to hit. That hits. And I get the same thing, sneak back. 14 points of damage. It's still there. It's looking upset. As a bonus action, I grow clean. Perfect. Okay, cleanse. Well, I'm blinded. You're blinded, yeah. Can I no, probably because I cannot move or can I? Well, you can, you can actually, yeah. You also need to make a wisdom saving throw. Sorry, can you make that <laughs> wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving. Oh, you're gonna do random stuff as well. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you failed. Ooh. Hey, so you can you roll the d8, please? Eight. 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 Hey. That's the same one. That's the random attack. <laughs> Either red or cleanse. So let's see which one. Uh, looks like it's going to be answer NPC. You're going to make a random attack against NPC. So a random attack it means like with my weapon or with your I'm weapon. Going? You're just swinging wildly at disadvantage though because with you are blind. So we'll see. I, I still have. Uh... The sacred weapon, so. <laughs> so this will be the first one. And you still. Wow. So, 13. Okay. 13. NPC, does a 13 hit you? Chris. Yes. So dramatic. Mm -hmm. Does 13 hit you? Uh, no, it does not. Yeah. Okay, well, Cleanse, for some strange reason, just tried to smack you with her weapon, but. Wow, these monsters miss. are fun. I'm blind. I don't know what is going on around me. Yeah. Okay, so Red, uh, you also need to make that wisdom saving throw. Oh no, another one. We're all white, so we? uh, oh, you're no, you're too far away. Sorry, you're too far away. Yeah. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> I was getting worried because what I was think? saving them all. Um, will I be in difficult terrain on this area? Uh, if you go in the water, you are, yes. But how about here? Like, that's... Uh, that's online. half in the water, yeah. You're, that's difficult terrain. Um, okay, never mind. I'll just go past here and just walk here. <laughs> okay. And I will swing. Do what I do best. That is a 14. That hits. That is a bit right. of a swinger. And uh, we will slash at it. Oh, that's a 13 damage. Uh. Oh, you killed it. Yeah. Oh, I killed everything so far. Yeah. <laughs> go, Red, go. Red is your savior. Blood everywhere. 
you are now out of, yeah, the sort of sad pieces of this creature just float up and catch from the grill. And then I go back and loot the hag. Oh, the, the banshee. It was a banshee. That's why they call oh, you red. Oh, wow, you found 16 gold pieces. Yay, guys, I found 16 gold pieces. Hey, you have the chair. That's on yeah. the chair. Yep, I say that as I'm sense. walking back upstairs. <laughs> I cannot see. Me neither. Uh, we bump into each other. Right now. You're, Boom. You're, you're, you're right. Your sight does come back. Ugh. Yeah. And you climb out of the, the basement. Wanda, Wanda. We did it. And like, uh, what's the face? Wanda's like. Are you cleaned out the basement? Yeah. Yeah, and well, she's... there might be still some blood down there, but... Oh, just a minute. And uh, the uh, this shield guardian goes down the steps. A couple of minutes later, it comes back, gives it the nod. Wink, 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 wink. He said, points up the stairs. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Awesome. Go. Okay. Really good, sir. Thank you. That's great. Now, it takes you up to me. Hold on a minute. Is that We're in the basement one? again. No, no, no. Oh, it's no, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. I, I messed up. Sorry, I messed up. I messed up. You need to be. You're on this same. You're on. Sorry, I forgot how I've done this. You're on this same place here, and you come up. These stairs here. Uh, do you come up? No, sorry, sorry, you come up here. Sorry, wrong place here. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And there's a uh, another shield guardian looking at you rather expectantly. Hi, shield number two. Here's a party of six for uh, Mad Meg. If you will be so kind. I give him my broom. <coughs> Shakes its head. But Wanda sent us. She said it was okay. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, guys, I try. Just give him a chip. <laughs> do I have more chips? Yeah. Does anybody have more chips? Uh, you do. <laughs> well, Does anybody else have more chips? No, you took everything. No, I don't know what you have. Alright. No, yeah, Thanks. he gave it in front of us so everybody knows I have chips. You don't know I have the money. Yeah, we don't know about the money. All right. Hey, Mr. Robot, what do we have to do? It just looks at you blankly, but this kind of orc walks up to this uh, this okay. this uh, gate here, this uh, you know door, this sort of what you call it, bar door up here. There's you want Meg? Mm -hmm. Yep. You got to go upstairs. All right. Start working. It will cost you. How much? It's okay. He can pay. How much have you got? I got like two chips. Don't need chips, mate. Yeah, but the guy outside really liked them. They said yeah. the only thing you are able to take into this prison is chips. So I don't have any money or anything else. Well, and you're not getting through the door if you don't have money, mate. This is a franchise prison. We <laughs> <laughs> did that in one of those Mac prisons I always hear about. Yeah. I'll, pop out a, I'll pop out a cigarette. <laughs> is this what <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a prison. Oh, he looks at you. You're popping out the tobacco. He looks at you. He's like, hmm, this guy might speak my language. What else have you got? I got. A barrel of alcohol. Yeah, he always brings that with but him. I don't know. You had that much on you, and you never. <laughs> <That's nice. laughs> okay. okay, cigarettes and alcohol. That's pretty okay. good. That might get my. That might get me to get my uh, key ring out. What else have you got? Um, I take out the the hag head. <laughs> <laughs> don't need that. Thank you very much. I got beans. You want beans? You got beans? 
Yeah, pretty good beans. If you put them, if you plant them, there's a magic plant that's going to grow out of them into the, uh, the sky. Sorry, I don't think so. I have a magical orb. It grants orb. wishes. Yeah. An orb? Yeah. An orb. An orb. Well, let's see the orb. Ah, show him the orb. Like what if that's pretty. Right. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't think, bear. I don't think we should give this uh, this one away. We don't know what this is for. It's okay. We will kill him later. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> if we won't kill him. We can just put him to sleep. So he opens this like grill in the door, and he's like, "Okay," and he hit, puts his hand out expectantly on the other side of the grill. I'll have How big cigarettes. is the grill? The grill, it's like just a small, I don't know, eight inch by eight inch grill. Can I fit to the grill? Can you what? Fit. I'm very, very small. Can you fit? No, even you can't fit through the grill. Uh, I, I, I just took Lina because I, I don't want to give the orb away. Is there anything we can do like as a favor? Like we did with the with Wenda? Uh, we're, we're very capable, we can solve any problem that you have. Uh, well, do, do you have any pests? You know, yeah, you know, the cell down the far end, um, someone's got to give him his bath. But? Yeah, down the far end. Uh -huh. That cell, you, you got to, he, he needs a bath. Do you have a mop? No, but I've got no, a I bucket. Got I've got I some water. I've got some soap. Mm -hmm. Do you have a bathtub? And yeah, there's a there's a bathtub. If you look by by the stairwell, there's a bathtub. Okay. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do is uh, uh, just you know just uh, give the guy in the cell at the end. Uh, Scrub. A bath. Yeah, okay. just give him a scrub down. Any reasons why the robot's going to do that? Because uh, he kind of keeps breaking their arms off. I see. <laughs> what if what if ever so happens that the guy dies? Is that a problem to you? Uh, yeah, because he's got to go for trial. That would be... Uh, brutality so yeah you can't pull any bits of him he's got to be intact this needs to be clean okay. so then if something bad happens to him then something bad happens to you no something bad happens to you but also you because no, it's your okay, job okay, okay. We, we can try we maybe we can sleep, or maybe we can just a spell or something we can try something don't worry well, you know, just down by the stairwell, you find buckets of water, you'll find a bath, you'll find the soap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, technically, okay. I can mage hand and rub him off, uh, rub him down from, from afar. Oh, I, have, <laughs> I, have, I have some water so maybe we can do something with that. I can put him to sleep, yeah, just yeah, in yeah, case. Just warning you guys. Well, that but that doesn't stop the smell, though. I mean, if he wants to get violent and start stealing arms like red. Hmm. Okay, let's try. Yeah, sounds like a project. Okay. Hey, shield number two, we're going to take, give a bath to the guy. Not the child. We need a rubber duck. <laughs> Does anybody happen to have a rubber duck? Uh, shale number two just is actually comes down to here, stands expectantly by the door. All right. Um, it, hold on a minute. Does it smell bad? It smells kind of like decayed flesh, you know, kind of like. It smells like lavender in here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lavender on my ass. <laughs> Let's see um, if I throw up. See these. No, I don't. All the other prisoners just like start looking expectantly oh. at, the, at the 
they come up to their gates and they're just kind of looking at it. And you see this big, huge... Oops. Oh, shit. There shouldn't be anyone in there. You see this huge, well, humanoid that looks like it's being put together from bits of other humanoids oh. in the room. Okay. What, you guys need a bath too? Quit looking. No, nah, but he needs one. He says, this all like creature mm. stinks. Uh, if I use my my thingy, is this guy and on that? Nope. Okay, here, very good. Okay. Is he awake? Huh? Yeah, okay. he's awake and he's just sort of, and you see these bars are exceptionally strong. I go and hit on the bars really loudly and scream, time for the bat, time for the bat. Um... It tries to punch you through the bars. Oh. Like, boom! Fortunately for you, its hand gets kind of stuck in the bar and it like pulls it out, glares at you. Like, yeah. How long yeah. can you put him for to sleep for? Uh, that's a good question. I think sleep is one uh, minute, isn't it? No, I think it stays longer. The sleep oh, no, yeah, one it? minute. So how yeah, many times? How many spell slots do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a level one bard. How many? Oh you well, think? two. <laughs> two. Uh, yeah, well, that's two minutes. If we organize ourselves, we can do it in two minutes. Really? But but let's try to do as we can without using the sleep before. So you have mage hand, right? Maybe we can use mage hand to pour water first, and maybe some soap. Yeah. And then we use the sleep and we start. So, so you, your idea is to anger the angry thing throwing water at it. Now you try to entertain him so he stays put. Uh -huh. And then we, you know, while he's enjoying your amazing songs, we can rub, her, rub him down. You don't have to tell that to me twice, and I bring out my. Yeah, just please, uh, another, another song. <laughs> I only know one. Just try to switch uh, it this, up. This, this guy doesn't know the song, so. No, no, no just try to switch it up. Enjoy it. <clears throat> just try so to. So this is, uh, by Tiber Trinketstone. It's called the Horny Drunken Sailor. <laughs> it's gonna be played like continuously for several times. Can you just sing and it backwards I, or something? I can send it in halfling. Okay, that's better. <laughs> I bring out my lute and start singing. Okay, and what does that do for it? I don't know. You see, paying attention to me. <laughs> it's nothing really no, is happening. It's, it's just glaring at you. Uh, see, he, he really likes it. Go, guys, go. <laughs> okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll start mage hand. Okay, yeah. do we have any rope? Rope? Why need I do. Rope? Rope on a rope. We can use like uh we can get inside the prison cell all together and just like rubble him and tie him up. This is a traditional way to give a bath to someone. This this humanoid figure has muscles on its muscles. It's like it's mm. like Arnold Schwarzenegger meets Sylvester Stallone with Dolph Lundgren, and they all took steroids. Uh, well, if all three of you work together... <laughs> yeah, the strong one should be able to do it. Uh, this uh, shield is just kind of whistling. He's enjoying my song as well. <laughs> yeah. Does it, does it look like the guy can understand our language? Um, are you going to try and talk to it? Yes, I'm going to try to talk to him and okay. maybe convince him. 
So I tell okay. them like, okay, let's just start first. Like, what is your name? Just glares at you, angrily starts rattling on the door. I, th I sing loudly, more loud, even louder. All right, I grab a rocket and just <laughs> splash him through the, through the bars. <laughs> It's going berserk in the room. <laughs> okay, it I'm lasts going, a minute. <laughs> only. I'm going to try to use command. Okay. Oh, he tell him to, to bath. Make, uh... <laughs> 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 he, he needs to make a uh, wisdom save for team. Ah, uh, you just rolled a 20. Uh. <laughs> Good try, though. He said Basic just picked up a duck and crushed it in it. Um, My brother the... Ooh. Um, so you said he was a humanoid? Kind of constructed humanoid. So bits of humanoid. Would he qualify for a monster? Uh, no, he would qualify for a construct. Oh. I wonder if Dominate Monster works on him um interesting we, question because we gave you read that scroll to us yeah uh, do you have the dominate monster spell to hand maybe i do dominate monster uh, okay uh, you attempt to begill a creature that you can see within range. So it just says okay. a creature. A creature, I think you're good. Uh, well, then I'll whip out the scroll and uh, look at Scrans like, yeah, that was a good idea, but let me try this. You can and try. yeah, I'll try to read the scroll. And he needs to make a, a charm, I guess. What does it do? What saving throw you can, is this? You can specify a simple and general course of action. Yeah, wisdom so saving. It, it, it depends if it's a charm. Uh, yeah. Is it a charm spell? It does say wisdom saving throw or be charmed. Or be charmed. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, he probably has advantage anyways because we pissed him off. Are you going to read that scroll? Yeah, sure, why not? Read the scroll, all the words fade from the screen, and it just ignores it completely. Oh. That's too well, if we know now he's immune to charm, he won't fall asleep. Yeah. Oh well. Mm. Well, I have another slot. Can I try commanding again? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's going to be immune to it. Yeah, command. No, is actually, it command? No, what no, is command, command? Doesn't say. It's not a charm. It's, oh. and it's a wisdom. command would probably work. Okay. And it's a However, it's only one word you can use, but you could say bath. I think you need, to, you need to set it up a bit better, but you could say bath. <laughs> no, but it only to, follows the grab, action. I'm going to grab the soap. I'm okay. going to throw it to him, and I'm going to cast command scrub. Okay, well, the first thing that happens is it just instinctively grabs the soap mm -hmm. and you, you, you said what bath it's scrub like scrub scrub it just scrubs all over its body with the soap really fast Good. for one turn which is six seconds <laughs> okay he was already wet and now he's scrubbing now we just need to wet him again yeah <laughs> grab ready. another bucket you throw the bucket over him sheesh Shield 2 gives a thumbs up. Ah, we did it. That was easy. High five. <laughs> I tried to jump, but I'm too small. No oh. five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Bought, bought the orc. Bought the orc's impressed. Um, <laughs> bought the orc. Opens the gate. Oh. Let's come on through. Up to the next floor, guys. Does the orc have a name? Orc. Orc. Orc is the orc. name. Orc the orc. orc. Orc the orc. Okay. Orc the orc. And you end up, and you're up on the, uh, you come up onto the third floor, you come up, you should be up here. Oh, shit. Okay. 
and you see another couple of where you see another construct and you see this uh oh woman standing here looking rather tough Hi, shield number three well hello there yeah, right. hello uh, hello <laughs> We are looking for what was her name? Mad Meg. Meg. Mad Meg. Mad Meg. Yeah, Mad Meg. She's in the cell at the end. What do you want with her? We need to ask her something. Very urgent. Uh, what do you need to ask her? Well, we have a soul problem. Uh, yeah. Well, Meg. Yeah, she's pretty good at stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. That's what we heard in the city. Apparently, she's the only one who can help her friends. Who is soulless right now? Good night, Well, that she's like, well, uh, what's it worth to you? What's it worth to you? I have a chip. I can give you a chip. I don't need a chip. Well, we've been like giving chip? favors to other people in the prison. Do you need uh -huh. any favor from us? Um. Well, you could get Meg out of my hair. She can't make know. Meg out of your hair. Yeah, I mean, if you can get her, if you can, uh, you know, if you can uh, get her out of there, yeah, fine. I'm sick of that. She's always been yeah, playing well, we can take her. Yeah. But uh, she's not supposed to leave, so... Uh, well, if you can get her out of here without anyone noticing, hmm. fine with me. Hmm. I see. Leave it to me, just look through. Is there, is there any windows out here? Yeah, these, uh, there are barred windows. This is a luxury floor. Just take a great look out of that window. And you know, like, I'll tell you way. what, you could, you could take Meg to see her, uh, See her lawyer. Oh no. No. No lawyers. Oh yeah, we had bad experiences with lawyers before. Huh. I actually like the idea. Oh. We're taking her for execution. Maybe? Yeah, we're taking her to the gibbet. We can, we can fake her that. <laughs> <laughs> only drunk and disorderly uh, <laughs> you know i mean they'll probably they'll probably just let her off like usual they just let her cool the heels for a few weeks and then kick her out again uh, all right probably forgotten about her already then so, as long as no one's reminded them of her so what do you suggest how should we get her out of here huh is your problem uh, well, he, she, well, she's your problem now, but if we can get her out of here, you know, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Any wow. secret um, tunnels out of this prison? No. Mm. Uh, what about the small river that you have in the basement? Yeah, but it's barred either end. Mm. And you come out in the swamp. And well, people generally don't come out of the swamp. That's well, why the prison's in the middle of the swamp. Well, we have a bag that we could fit her in. <laughs> no, 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 that's the Do you want to see the bag? Thing. It's really big and spacious inside. Are you really going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> you can do it if you want. Mm. Mm. You've got a bag? What kind of bag? Ah, uh, never mind. You want to take a look at my bag? <laughs> <laughs> well, what have you got? You got, you know, I mean, you can, uh, you know, give me some money. Yeah, it's a franchise prison, you know, where uh, money makes the, the world go round. Money makes the doors open. Has anybody got any money? Nope. Uh, I'll give you your money. I have some. We all should have money. Divided by, what, what was it, 16? Divided by 5? I have 15 gold. More like 50 15. gold. 15. Yeah, if you got 50, 
you got 50, you can take Meg. Oh. And if I pick Bean. <laughs> and I'll just tell you that, I'll just write you out a, uh, a pass to say you're going to take it to see a lawyer. Mm. How about 25? How about you try persuasion? Sixteen. You going to eat? How about thirty? How about twenty-five? <laughs> <laughs> How about right, guys, forty? Little boy. Thirty. She kind of towers over you. There's like she's another one. She's got muscles on her muscles. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a. <laughs> we see care. I've bent it. I'll tell you what she says. I'll tell you, you what I see. Meg, and I'll keep the cute little halfling. Ah, oh, she deal. likes me. Yeah. yeah. How about you stay in her cage? Oh, no, no, not the cage. I can sing your songs if you let me free. <laughs> I know this great song about the guy. It's very adventurous. It has romance in it. It has everything. Okay, I'll tell you what. You sing me a nice song and I'll let you take it for 30 gold. And I'll write you out a pass to say you're taking it down to that lawyer. Mm. Okay, I'm taking one for the team. You guys put in the money. Okay, I have 15 gold. <laughs> I have zero money. Anyone else? You guys yeah. robbed money on the way up, though, didn't you? Remember? Okay. Yeah, if we got some right. in the, the, from. Right. You still, oh, you've got the money, haven't you? Uh, Fever, you've got money. You've stole it off William. <laughs> I, I have negative 57 gold. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You, you stole William the tennis <laughs> I'm going to start singing the song. Do you prefer uh, bagpipes, lute, and flute? Um, I think you should just sing it unaccompanied. That's even harder, but I can try. Give her the money and I start singing. OK, can you run me performance check? <laughs> Hey. <laughs> the same old freaking song. Uh, I sing the same old song, really, <laughs> but very proud of it. This is the song that never ends. <laughs> and right. beats. She starts getting out the sword. It's like, stop that song now, please. Th does and she say that? She looks at like uh, cleanse and she's like, should we just put this guy in one of, the... I've got a spare cell here. No, 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 I understand the feeling, but he, he's a good guy. He's trying very hard. He's can... certainly trying. He is trying. You can see that. I think a little bit louder. I'll tell you what, you tell, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, she says. You leave the little guy in the cell, it's surety, and you can take me. And then when you bring him back, you can have the little guy back. Oh, I don't really like that arrangement. We never leave everyone be anyone behind. What do you think, guys? Well, girls. <laughs> oh, I'm one guy. <laughs> you see this goblin, like, walk up to his bars and he's like, yeah, put the little guy in the room with me. Yeah, no, so I you, think... you would have a player friend. Yeah. You got any soap? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, no, but what if if I take him away and never let him come back again? Oh, nice one. Nice one. Roll me persuasion. Okay. Persuasion. Ben. I think you might have a. Uh... Bardic inspiration. Oh, yeah. Thing. oh yeah, I had a bardic inspiration. So let me roll a. Okay. One. Four, four, She's like, okay, I'll tell you what. 
30 gold. You take Meg, I'll give you the pass to say you're taking her out to see her lawyer. And if she doesn't come back, I'm going to have a little guy. And I'm going to put him in. <laughs> now, this little guy, I'm going to have him. And we're going to put him in here with old gold. Uh, but why? He hasn't done any, anything bad. If she doesn't come back. That's okay. We'll, we'll make sure that she goes to rehab. Um, okay. So 30 gold. What, what if it's, instead of the little guy, we let we leave you one magical orb? Now you want the land. orb. Okay. No, we don't have to leave. As a land, like we, we will bring Meg back and you give the orb back. Oh, you're leaving the orb as surety. Uh -huh. ah. That sounds fair. Or this magic bean. <laughs> beans, beans, the magical fruit. <laughs> These are the beans that make you fart like a troglodyte. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Okay, she says. You leave that nice, pretty, magical orb with me. Hmm. And you can take Meg. And 30 gold. Okay, so I have 15. Does anyone else have more gold? Yeah, no. Red, did you take any gold before? Um, I had... How much was it? Sorry? It only need 15. It was 15, right? Uh, well, I, I handed it out already, so everyone should have the 15 divided by 5. How did you? <laughs> well, then, here, have my gold. Okay. Uh, 15 divided by 4, yeah. So, just get, put it back all back in the one place. Okay, so that should be ready. Right. And the orb. And uh, the orb and the money and... So she puts the orb on the table. Construct goes over. Meg comes out. She's like... Looking at you, she's obviously... Short of a drink. <laughs> Looks kind of Looks kind of grumpy. She's like, what do you want? If we're going to take you back to the temple for now. We are going to talk a little there and then you're going to go back. And why are we going to the temple? Because probably we need to be there for the things we need. What do you need? Uh, I don't know if it's a good idea to talk about this here. I ain't coming unless you tell me what I'm gonna do. Okay, something related with souls. Okay, what you want me to do with a soul? Well, we have a friend here that she got her soul stolen. Yeah, I can and see have, that. And we have her soul in a bag. Okay, and what do I need to do? The thing is, there are more souls in the bag. You gotta okay. help me, mommy. <laughs> yeah, I guess it'll cost you. Well, you're expensive so far. They have been very expensive so far, yeah. We're taking Not you for a problem. walk. Um, okay, well... I guess we can do it back at the temple, but I'll have to think about what you're going to do for me. Okay, you can think about it first. I can sing you a song. I heard your song. Don't sing a song. <laughs> <laughs> you're rude. Do not sing that song. I cannot sing you a song. That's much better. See, now we, we have okay, an agreement. Okay. I will not sing the song and you will help us for free. Let's go. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's head off to the temple. And we'll see about fixing your friend. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. So Hilda hands you 
a piece of official looking paper. Thank you. And we shall fast forward this a little bit. You get back to the Sun Temple. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mad Meg comes in. Yeah, this is a pretty simple. She looks at the bag and she's like, oh, the lawyers, huh? Mm. Do you know them? Everybody knows them. So Look, this is a very know. simple ceremony. Uh -huh. And she says to Bod, Bod, she says, go get a rock. A rock? Yeah, Bod goes out, comes back with a rock. And she says, okay, you want to get something out of that bag? She holds the rock, the rock out. She says, you need to get blood out of this stone. Uh -huh. How did you do that? <laughs> oh, we haven't got red with us, have we? Sorry, red. That's okay. That's you're gonna be the lawyer. I'm, I'm just hidden like within this red building here. Okay, just... hold on a minute. I'll go and get red. I'll go get red. Where's red? God, have you not been with us all the time? Red, you need to tell me. Yeah, no, no, I. Was I? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, yeah, you're still, still down in the basement. You're still down in the basement. What am I doing? I've I, I got to get on top of this thing. Anyway, let's get back in there. Is that getting red? There we are. She's like, you want to get anything out of a lawyer? you got to get blood out of the stone. Oh, no. Um, generally, I think you could try squeezing it. Did you try that, MPC? Yeah, I'd... squeezing is good. We have strength. Squeeze the rock. So whoever squeezes the rock, she says, you got to squeeze the rock, drip the blood into the bag, and say the name of the soul you want um, and, and she says and i am not standing in that circle while you're doing it oh no <laughs> i got a natural two what what are you trying to do squeezing the rock squeeze the stone you got a natural two so you're just like pathetic yeah yeah because I think you need somebody a bit and like Bod's like hiding behind the pillar. I'm not going near there. Okay, I can try. You got to go in the circle. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If it's this okay. is a cup of sun, maybe Latander can help me a little. So like NPC, you're gonna have to hold the bag like oh. open, not looking in it, and uh, yeah. And I will uh, squeeze it and put the blood okay. on it and call NPC me. So it will be a saving. Sure. Strength, strength, yeah. 14. 14. Oh, nearly. Just not enough. You know, God. Oh, you don't have bardic inspiration, do you? Damn oh, I, can, I can give you another one, but can, can we say that we give, I gave it to her? <laughs> Mad Meg <laughs> says, maybe two of you could try squeezing the stuff down together. Together? Who can help me? Who else has red? My red hand red? is still on the stone, right? No, you're holding the bag now, oh. optimistically. Red, are you going to help? Uh, what do I need to do? Squeeze the stone. Yeah, you need to get the blood out of the stone. Sure. I'll okay, squeeze so it right. you gotta be in the you gotta be in a circle with that. Yeah. Why is well, that um, rover? Okay, so roll strength. Roll strength, okay. One moment. Where is it? <coughs> strength saving was it? No, just strength check. Okay, cool. So give me one moment, sorry. Oh no, where did he go? You lost your strength. <laughs> uh, strength, where are you? 
Yeah, strength. Here we go. Oh, natural 20. Oh, wow. No shit. Blue. Red as ever just comes. He probably almost crushes the stone. Blood, unfortunately, pours out into the bag. Uh, who okay. said NPC's name? I call NPC's name. You call NPC. NPC, your soul flies back into your body. NPC, yes. can you roll me a wisdom save? Sure. No. <laughs> Wow. And as NPC flies back into her body, she has the presence of mind to crush the bag shut and prevent all the other souls escaping out. Nice. Yay. <gasps> Holy shit. That was crazy. We got your soul back. <sighs> Thank you. I jump on him in the circle. Her. Or her. Yeah, my bad. Okay, well, MPC, after your ordeal in the bag, I'm going to say your wisdom is permanently increased by two. Oh. Yay! Whoa. You got wiser. You got wiser. And older. That's so useful for a barbarian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so you've, got, you've successfully got MPC's soul back in her body. Yeah. Mission accomplished. Now what Mission do you do? <laughs> no. Now what do you do? Now you got to go and sort out Marlo. Oh Kill yeah, Marlo. that's it, Marlo. I will need to return Mad Max to the prison. Yeah, you need to take Meg back to the prison. Yeah, but Meg, uh, do you have any more wine? Somewhere? Wine cellar? It's no? like I could kill a drink. Yeah, me too. It's like, do you want to go to the bar? Uh huh. She's like trying to persuade you to go to the bar. Oh, hell yeah. She, she, <laughs> she, she, she was so she, on board. She do doesn't have to roll for it. <laughs> She's like, yeah, let's go to the bar and get drunk. Yeah. I let's mean... go, but when I drink, I get singy. <laughs> She's like, when I drink, I don't care. <laughs> when I she drinks, she gets violent. So but be careful. Guys, guys, we need to, to bring her back. If not, we're going to the bar, it's everybody. fine. It's fine. It's fine. You know. Happy okay. to bring the drinks. They didn't okay. tell us when to bring her back. We can tell. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't like a time limit or anything. Red, you're in, right? Sure. Yeah, of course. If this goes you're far. In the and let's go to the bar. Okay, guys. Well, we'll do that next week. Yeah, I, start, I start taking my pants off. I say. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that was a really interesting session, John. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, John. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you, guys. Thank you for hanging Thank out. Thank you, everyone. Very Thank fun. You. They're in the end. Say good night, Tai Chi. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.